I've been calling this particular spot here at the tannery uh, high tone Hades because some sort of pot metal or something got shattered and so there are upper 80s and mid 80s signals everywhere and I really kind of started ignoring it because I'm sick of digging that stuff um, but I decided to come back low and slow take my time and dig this stuff out and it just paid off I don't know what it is this is all I've seen of it looks to me to be a coin or a token so let's look at it together what have we got here all right I'm gonna say token let's clean it off Check this out. This is a first. How do you like that eerie little symbol right up at the top of the coin? Okay, now, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a Nazi coin. A lot of people don't know this, but back before Hitler made the swastika an evil sign, it was a good luck symbol. And so these tokens were made um, jewelry had this on it and it was used as a good luck symbol this is very cool I have had nothing like this so I'm gonna turn the camera off I'm gonna clean this up before it dries out and we're gonna read it and find out what we've really got here all right I got it cleaned off and uh, this is what we've got this is a Rexall drugstore token and it's a uh, it's an advertising piece uh, no monetary value or anything. It's just uh, a good luck charm and help advertise the company. And uh, it's got a lot of fine writing on it. It's a little hard to make out. Top says, I'm a Rexolite because... Then something about 7,000 best drug stores. On this side... says the god of luck so I've got a little idol on there or something and says optimistic and progressive order of rexolites and some other things so very cool I know that symbol is uh, it's eerie for us but I knew as soon as as soon as I dug it and I saw that it had uh, English writing on it that I was dealing with something that it was prior to World War II uh, and, and Hitler and the Nazis um, because uh, no American company of course would have used that symbol after the war so we'll get a date on it and I'll get a little bit more information about it if I can find it online and I'll get back to you it is hard to see the swastika as anything but an evil sign. But truthfully, a lot of the companies were just cashing in on popular iconography, using them as advertising pieces. You can see some pretty big companies got in on the action. All right, just had a uh, really nasty signal that, to be honest with you, surprised me that it's a coin. Um, I thought it was trash. It was just low 70s. Um, but anyway, you can see it popping out of the plug there, but it's not very deep. Only a couple inches deep. I've already got one wheat penny that was wiped just a few feet away. So, oh my gosh. Look at that coin. Holy cow, I hope the front's as good as the back. Look at that thing. Come on, please. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, all right. <laughs> I can't see the date. Let's see if I busted the 1800s club today. All right, I'm gonna give it a wipe on my pants, we'll see. 
and let y'all watch with me. Come on. Second Indian head penny I've ever dug. Boy, that looked awful nice though. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I'm still stuck in the 1900s. It's the exact same date as my other Indian, but 10 times as pretty. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty coin. Actually, that may be a 1903. Oh wow, that, that just tickles me to death. Look at the back of that thing. Awesome. Ah, oh, man, the old tannery's still giving them up. I'm going to keep going until they turn it into a soccer field. Well, I may have finally done it. Um, got a good 83, 84 signal. Pretty sure it was turned on edge. Has me a little nervous because it's not that deep. But I'm pretty sure it's a quarter. And it might be silver. Might not be silver, but... Oh, man, it'd be nice to get a silver quarter. Let's see. What have we got? Oh, it's silver. Finally, what did I get? What did I get? <laughs> oh, crap. You're not going to believe this. It's not a quarter. I think it's another token. It feels light. But it's different looking. Let's clean it off and see what we got. This is cool looking. Let's see. 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson. Very cool. I've been wanting to get one of these presidential tokens. I've been seeing them. I don't know that I've seen an aluminum one though. Um, let's see what the back says. Tell you what, let me put the camera down and clean it off so I can read it a little bit better. I'll get back to you. Okay, it's a Cracker Jack uh, coin. Got it upside down. It says, The Professor, World War President. There's a quote across the bottom. It says, We desire no conquest, no dominion. Join the Cracker Jack Mystery Club, save this coin. Very cool. That's right up there with one of my favorite finds. I swear, I, I really do love tokens. As much as I would like to find a silver quarter one day, I'll take this because I'd say this is probably more rare than a silver quarter by a long stretch. All right, cool. Let's see what else is out here. This token was produced from 1933 to 1934. If you sent 10 of them in, you could be a member of the Cracker Jack Mystery Club. They would take the coins, stamp canceled on the back, and send it back to you. You can tell mine was never sent in. All right, I almost chopped this. You see how close I came to that thing? Looks to me like a token. It's got a uh, strange kind of writing on the side of it. Uh, I thought for a second it was silver, but I see enough of it to think that it's a token. What have we got? 25 cent token. Cool. Uh, let me wipe it off here. See if we can read it. Uh, I don't think I found a 25 cent token before. There we go. Uh, merchandise only. trying to read it and film at the same time. Let's see what this says. Okay. Martin Wayne and Company. And I can't make the rest of it out, but I'll clean it up, figure out what we've got. Very cool. I haven't heard of that company locally, so 
token may not be from around here. All right. I'll take a token any day. I my love token them. ended up being from Dobbin, West Virginia. And if you look at my intro video, you'll actually see the store that the token would have been spent at. But by the early 1900s, the mountains had been completely harvested. And uh, the workers had to travel to where there was more work. And so they came south to our area. A friend of mine actually found another token a few miles away from me from the exact same company. Uh, his token's a lot better than mine but it shows that complete uh, communities often migrated to areas that they could find work and they brought these tokens with them. I was just walking along having a conversation with myself about why it is I have to dig every 50 signal that I find because I know good and well it's going to be a piece of can. Um, until now. So, I have no idea what it is yet. Looks nickel sized to me. I would love for that to be a V nickel. That would tickle me to death. What do you think? Let's clean it off and see what we got. Wasn't too deep though, so maybe a buffalo. I've got a couple buffaloes, maybe a, just a modern nickel. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see. Oh, we got us another buffalo. Oh man, I can't see if y'all see anything at all. This light's killing me. All right, I'm hoping that camera's focused. My camera's so dirty I can't tell. But that is definitely a buffalo nickel. Well, let's see if we got a date on it. Date's right here on the neck if it's gonna be there. And I see a 19... And I believe a one after the nine, so a 19 teen, older, pretty good shape. Good deal, third buffalo nickel. I love these old coins. All right, keep going. All right, let's talk tokens for a minute. This token right here, this is the lumber token. Uh, from Martin Lane Company. Now, without this token and, and the company that made this token and what they did, harvesting lumber, cutting lumber, uh, providing a railway uh, cross ties, things that the country needed as it grew, um, and in particular, the railroads needed, this token wouldn't be possible. This token uh, you know, is a Rexall drugstore uh, token, and, and a Mr. Liggett back in, the, I think, 1903 bought 40 drugstores and consolidated them under the Rexall name. Well, on this token right here, you can see by the 20s when this token is made, there's now 7,000 stores. The reason why there's 7,000 LinkedIn stores is because of the railways. Um, and, and the building and the construction, all the small towns and communities that are popping up provided a, uh, uh, an environment for all of this, uh, these chains of drugstores. Now you look at this token. This is a Cracker Jack token from the 1930s. Early 1900s, 1920s, 1930s. Cracker Jack needed stores that they could sell their product in. Um, you, you know, going to mom and pop stores, little privately owned stores, that took a lot of work to, uh, for the Cracker Jack company to, you know, to be able to sell their product and, and convince the owners of all these individual stores. But what happens if you get your product in a Rexall store who's got a chain of 7,000 stores nationwide? This token makes this token possible. I just think it's really neat how they're all interconnected like that. Um, it's, it's, it's the history of our country and the growth of our country. And um, yeah, you got to sometimes stop and think about what you're holding. Um, they all depended upon each other. Anyway, lesson over. Just something I was thinking about.